and Janine and YouTube. Um, my clock is going off, if you can hear it, and it's going to be really annoying because it's 11. Anyway, um, I need to record this before I go to work, so we're going to try to speed through this story. Um, for any of you that watched my nerd videos, you know that when I was a kid, I like only watched the Food Network, and I loved to cook, and I totally thought I wanted to be a chef. So when I was in fourth grade, I entered the, um, the Pillsbury Bake Off contest. Um, and at that point, you just had to come up with a recipe that utilized a Pillsbury product. You send in their recipe, and if they select you, you get to be in the cook-off. Well, lo and behold, my recipe was accepted into the Pillsbury cook-off, and it was like the best thing ever. It was one of my grandma's recipes. There were these little mini um, sticky buns that you used the croissant rolls for. You know, you spread them out, and then you made the filling, and then you rolled, you know, whatever. So... I was literally the most excited person ever, and the bake-off was at the Philadelphia Zoo that year. So, like, the whole year leading up to the, um, the bake-off, I was practicing, and I was bringing in sticky buns for, like, my classmates all the time. I was literally probably, like, loved by everyone that year, because it was almost every other day that I was bringing in sticky buns, because you only had a certain amount of time to cook them in. So I was like trying to like cut back my time every time I would do it and get faster and faster. So the day of the cook-off came, that's what happened to me. And it was awesome that it was the zoo. It was like a great day. My mom was away, so I brought my dad and one of my best friends at the time. And um, everything's going great. You know, they televise it. So they have like interview people coming around and talking to you while you're cooking, blah, blah, blah. So I start, you know, everything's going great. I start cutting my sticky rolls to put them in the pan. I cut myself. I'm bleeding. And it wasn't really a big cut, but it was bleeding really fast. Kind of like when you get one of those really bad paper cuts that's really small, but all of a sudden it's like a river of blood. It was like that. But no one could really tell, and I just kind of stood there. All of a sudden the paramedics come, and you can tell my dad and my friend were like, what's going on? Like, why are there paramedics? And then they come to my table, and my dad was just like, she would. Um, because my the my the maternal side of my family has like a long history of kitchen injuries um so they got it taken care of I finished um I had to take out a couple sticky buns that I may or may not have bled on before I baked them <laughs> um but I did really well I think I got through to semifinals something like that um it was just yeah it was good times that was also when we decided to go in the birdhouse where they give you those little cups of nectar and they land on you and like one landed on my head and one landed on my friend's shoulder and like we didn't realize how like not okay we were going to be with birds landing on us one also landed on my dad but once my friend and i got ours off of us we literally like ran out of there and kind of left my dad to fend for himself and i felt kind of bad but not really because i had no more birds on me anyway um so yeah that's one of the more awesome stories from my childhood and I couldn't think of anything else and I um, thought of that yeah so that's my video for today I hope you enjoyed it um, and Liz I will hear from you on Monday have wonderful weekends and I'll talk to y'all later on YouTube bye